In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for NaOH plus MgSO4, sodium hydroxide plus magnesium sulfate. First thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. You can see I have two hydroxide groups here and just one here. So I'm going to put a two in front of the NaOH. Now I have two sodium atoms, two sodium atoms, that's good, magnesium, magnesium, sulfate, and sulfate. So the molecular equation, that's balanced. Now we can write the state for each substance. Sodium hydroxide is a strong base. That means it's going to be aqueous. It'll dissociate into its ions. Magnesium sulfate, that's also aqueous. Sulfates are often aqueous. And then this magnesium hydroxide, I'd like to look that up on a solubility chart. Hydroxides, except for some of those in the group one elements, they're largely insoluble or just slightly soluble. So let's just look this up and make sure. So magnesium is right here, hydroxide right here. We go over and down, and that I means that it's insoluble. It's not going to dissolve when we put it in water, or just dissolve a very, very small amount. So we're going to put S for solid for the magnesium hydroxide. Sodium compounds are very soluble, so we're going to have AQ here. So those are our states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. This is the complete ionic equation. Sodium's in group one on the periodic table, that's one plus, and the whole hydroxide, one minus. So I have two sodium ions, and I'll write aqueous at the end, I won't write that now, plus two hydroxide ions. Magnesium group two, two plus, and then the whole sulfate here, two minus, good one to remember. We have our Mg2 plus, this is the magnesium ion, plus the sulfate ion, SO4, two minus. And these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we don't split solids apart. So that's just going to be MgOH2 plus, we said sodium, 1 plus, 2 minus for the sulfate, two sodium ions, and the sulfate ion. And this is the complete ionic equation. Next, we're going to cross out spectator ions. Next, we're going to cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. They haven't changed, so we're not interested in them. I can see in the reactants, I have two sodium ions. And then here in the products, I have two sodium ions. We can get rid of those. We also have sulfate ion in the reactants and in the products. We can get rid of that as well. And what's left is the net ionic equation for sodium hydroxide plus magnesium sulfate. I'll clean this up write the states in, we'll have our net ionic equation. And this is the balanced net ionic equation for NaOH plus MgSO4. You'll note the charge is conserved. We have two negative charges, two positive charges. They balance out, give us a neutral product. And if you count the atoms up, they're the same on both sides. Sometimes you'll see that the positive ion is put first in net ionic equations. It doesn't really matter, just maybe looks a little nicer. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.